women's 5,000. Top seed there is Caitlin Tui of NC State. She leads a large NC State contingent in this event. She was runner-up twice indoors in the 3,000 and the 5,000. In this race, she's going to be challenged by Taylor Rowe, who was the indoor 3,000 meter champion. Some others in there who can give her a good race, presumably Lauren Gregory, who will be Dublin Black from the 10,000. Abby Nichols, who's been running well for Colorado. Who do you think is the biggest challenger, or and Mercy Chilang as well? Who do you think is the biggest challenger to Tui? I mean, it's Taylor Rowe. And- I don't think anyone else really has shown uh, a better kick than Taylor Rowe has in the indoor season. And Rowe's outdoor season hasn't shown any signs of slowing down. Chalang got, I feel like, if it was 20, 20, 2020 or 2021, maybe I'll believe in Chalang got. But I think the, what's the word? Whatever the banner has. Oh, I switched. What's the phrase? God dang it. I'm so bad at coming up with uh, Sometimes you're so far off, I can't even help you. You know, like. Sometimes, sometimes you're the in the torch. neighborhood. The and torch I can is past the torch. the torch. Yeah, there it is. But the how was I supposed passed. to know you were talking about a torch being passed? You gave no indications there that that's where you were going. Well, it used to be Chilangat's event. Now it's the Row and Tui event. Right. Keep hey, going. It, it makes sense great. in my head. Maybe the viewers and the listeners don't understand it, but it makes sense in my head. But what I'm getting to, I do believe it's going to come down to those two, Tui and, uh, and Ro. And I think, you know, I think eventually Caitlin Tui's got to break through. Like, she's got to get the win eventually. Like, she can't. I don't think Caitlin Tui is the next Jordan Hase, where you just. She won one, though. Hase won one. When did Hase win? Uh, she won, uh, I think, Indoor 3, I want to say. Oh. She won a title, though. She was close a lot. And yeah. like Cranny, Cranny was close a lot. There's been a lot of people who have just been in the mix year after year after year. I mean, we forget, because of the COVID year and everything, Tui hasn't really been – like, Indoors was the first time she was threatening for a win in yeah. any championship. So – you say finally she's got to break through. This is really her second go round and her first go round where she's the favorite. Because in those races, indoors, she was not the favorite. This is her first time going in as the favorite. But she's now run 406 for 1500. She's now shown this ability to, to front run, which we saw in high school, but that was against high school competition. Now she's doing it against collegians. I think that's where this race is going to be decided. Row wants to be able to you know stay in contact so that way she can use her good clothes she was gonna try to run away with this thing which i think is going to make it a fascinating race this is not going to be sit and kick they're going to go for it and nc state having five women in this race is a huge advantage for her having that many teammates there yeah and also we can't forget rose advantage was that she kind of surprise people indoors like people like wait a minute oh crap row like pulled away and we don't have enough time to close it and no one saw it coming now everyone knows that what row's gonna do so i think that's gonna be an advantage for the field against taylor row because they're gonna know mm. hey we don't want what happened to indoors to happen again yes you also have the not only no you said there's five teammates that's five nc state steelman steelman bush Star Lipper, and then there's one other one, isn't there? Yeah, Shaw. Savannah Shaw and Tui. There's actually okay. six because the Tennessee athlete is going to NC State next year. <laughs> right, but I'm uh, talking Sydney, about – Sydney Seymour. But, yeah. like, you, that's kind of – they have a feature team in on, on the course as, as well. I'm of- talking about, though, if you're trying to come up with a race plan – that's going to put her in the best position to win. Now they all want to have good races, I'm sure. So it's not just going to be, Hey, let's just go full on team tactics and sacrifice everybody's race. But all those women are capable enough. They can get the pace going. And I think everybody would agree that Tui's going to benefit from that harder pace. 
just the way she likes to run and just the fact that her season's best is so much better than everybody else's. Can she close? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she's run a fast 1500. She can close. But when you're talking about closing in these crazy, crazy, really tactical races, sometimes you're not talking about 1500 meter speed. Sometimes you're talking about 200 meter speed. And I don't think she wants to leave it that late. That's not advantageous to her. What if the NC State women actually do form a strategy and they take their, their four non Caitlin Tui runners and they form a circle around Taylor mm-hmm. Rowe when the move is made so that yeah. there's a little bit of a extra few seconds of for Tui to kind of separate herself from the field? That'll be fun. I, I, would, I did think one, it was I, one day I of my life. We I got an see... internet coach uh, submission from someone asking if that was legal. I did think that was weird. Just kidding. But no, one day in my life, I do want to see that happen at like a non high school meet. I want to see legitimately other athletes sacrifice themselves for their teammate to win by doing something crazy like forming a wall of athletes mm. and not breaking rules too, like owning your lane. And like, it's just, you know, that like, hey, we're going to slow the pace down, make it harder for the yeah, challenger yeah. to run around us to give our top, top runner more of a cushion i would love to see that it'll never happen because we're an individual sport but it would be great to see i would love people complain (laughs) people get so angry oh you ruined the sanctity of the sports like hell no they're teammates they're doing what they want i would love to see it (laughs) it won't happen but i would love to see it all right the other one i wanted to talk about men's men's 